Hi, my name is Ben uh, Dean. I go to church here at Trace Crossing. And last week I saw, I saw Jim and Edith talking about their relationship and you know, just everything they go through, how, how hard they've worked at it and how long they've been married. And it made me really start to think about you know, maybe my future wife, the woman God has planned for me. And I, I kind of got a little excited about it. I can't wait for us to, you know, I don't know, go outdoors, do activities together, share stories, you know, the whole nine yards. And, and if I can have even just a small little snippet of what, of what Jim and Edith had, have, then, you know, I, I think I'll be doing really well. For instance, like, you know, I told you, I started getting excited about it. Well, I, you know, I, I started thinking about all the fun things that me and my future wife could do together. Like, for instance, I love going outside and playing tennis. And just so happens, right now I could use a tennis partner. All right, you ready for it, huh? You ready for it? What is it, 15 love? 15 love now? It's about to be 30 love. Oh, hang on, two seconds. I'm starting to cramp up a little bit in my in my hammy. Let me do a little stretching. Oh yeah. You feel the burn, don't you? Yeah. Holy mackerel. Ah. Ah. Ooh. Yeah. Okay, you ready? You ready for it? Here it comes. Ace! It's awesome! Yeah, 30 love, huh? 30 love? Get ready, it's about to be 40 love. You better put up a fight though, alright? I'm tired of this easy stuff. Don't let me ace you. Don't let me ace you. <laughs> no, you're not. I love you. Hugs and kisses. Oh, that's an ace! That's an ace! Ace, 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 ace! I am awesome! <laughs> As you can see, I do love the outdoors. But, you know, maybe outdoors isn't her thing. If so, that's no problem. Compromise, right? I mean, if there's one thing we learned last week from watching Jim and Edith, compromise is the key to any relationship. I can compromise. Perhaps, maybe instead of being outdoors, she likes watching movies. I could watch movies. In fact, I need somebody to watch movies with right now. Hilarious. <laughs> oh no, he did! <laughs> oh man. I love watching a movie with you. No, seriously. You're so much fun to hang out with. You always love me. You really rev my engine. You're the queen of this team. <laughs> I mean that. Oh, you want chip? Yeah. You like that, don't you, girl? Want another? Oh, no. <laughs> okay. Hey, sweetie. You want a kiss? Huh? Yeah, you want a little sugar? Oh, that's good sugar. You want a little sugar? Oh, you give the best sugar ever. I love your sugar. Oh, ow, ow, ow. All right, so if you haven't noticed, there seems to be a little bit of a snag in my attempts to have a relationship, or in, do, or in order to do things that people in relationships do. I, uh, yeah, I don't have a partner. <laughs> and, uh, you know, that's no big deal, because I think I can find one. Even though I'm new to town, I still think I can find a partner, because I'm gonna call in the master. I'm gonna call in the man, I'm gonna call in the man that knows everything there is to know about women. He had himself a woman and married her in six weeks. You know who I'm talking about. I'm calling Jim Davis. Hello? Jimbo! Jimmy Crack Corn! What's going on, man? Hey, it's Ben Dean, the Dean Machine. I need a favor, buddy. Hi, Ben. What can I do for you? Yeah, I need some help, man. I need guidance, Jim. Ben, I only take the best students. I'm not joking. No problem, Ben. Glad I could help. But from what you told me, we've got a lot of work to do. Jim, thank you so much, man. I will be your pupil, your Padawan learner, if you will. This is going to be great. I'm going to give you some of the best lines I've ever used. If I'd used these on Edith, well, we'd been married in three weeks. The first thing you have to know is it's all about attitude. You have to know that the girl is yours. Here's the one I caught Edith with. Are your legs tired? Because you've been running through my mind all night. Or how about this one? Pardon me, ma'am. I've lost my phone number. Could I borrow yours? 
No, Jim. No. That's Bush. That's Bush League, Jim. If I wanted amateur hour, I'd go call Kevin Wood. Or well, how about this one? Go find you a good one and say, Are you from Tennessee? Because you're the only 10 I see. That one works every time. All right, then. I'll give him a try. What's the worst that can happen, I guess? I'll trust you, Jim. Go get him. Good luck. Just like a friend. Hey there, sweet cheeks. Are you from Tennessee? Because you're the only 10 I see. Jim, <laughs> I hate to tell you, man, but your lines didn't work, okay? I got nothing. Ben, it's not my fault. You're just not making a connection. Well, whose fault is that? Ben, you're done. I'm just gonna have to cut you loose. You're fired. You, you can't cut me loose. You just can't. You're my Yoda. Ben, you just don't have what it takes. Wait a second, so, so what do you got that I don't have? Well, Ben, I'm the total package. Well, as you see, I've lost my Obi-Wan Kenobi. My Yoda, if you will. Which is kind of disheartening. <laughs> well, the whole thing is, really. Because I tried everything I could think of to, to really find that perfect woman for me. That, that perfect girl that got us set aside. And I know she's out there. Maybe it's I'm not making, a, not making a connection like Jim said, or, or maybe it's something else. But I really want to find that perfect girl for me. I just don't know how. All you gotta do is keep looking, I guess. Don't you know? Lies and losing again.